Hey, yeah, just come on back. Yeah, come on in. Whoa, sorry. Before I have you come in here, I should cast a glyph of warding upon you. My eldritch debt doesn't come due for a few more months, but, you know, they work. The very ancient calendars, you know, sometimes it, they show up when you don't expect. I did the variable interest on that. It's how they get you. I mean, that's the problem. Since the beginning of time, it's been all about the money. That's part of the appeal of Satanism, to step outside of the rig system. Here, yeah, just stay where you are. Thoras Espruar Dethek Ruathlek Yeah, should be no trouble now. Yeah, come on in. Have a seat. No, I'm happy to talk with you. Can I get you some tea or anything? Coffee? All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I think a lot of people are confused about the satanic aspects. They see the loud music and the screaming and the devil horns. They think that's Satan. But really, one's journey with Satan is a quiet thing. It's a path you walk together with the Dark Lord, and everyone's journey is different. Yeah, the music is a way to bring people in the door, the portal, if you will, to a deeper communion with Lucifer. Don't get me wrong, there are seductive aspects to witchcraft. We don't do this because it's boring, but it's really about the quest for knowledge, the knowledge of the darkness within yourself and in the world. The universe is mostly darkness, even Whole galaxies are just specks of dust in the wider universe. So if we only focused on the light, we would be ignoring most of reality. Until things are brighter, I'm the man in black. You know what I'm saying? You know... God made Satan just as he made flowers or little green apples. Oh yeah, you wanna you wanna go over my rig? Yeah, oh yeah. This is the murder caster. It, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it sounds good, but I bought it because it was black. It used to have the all-black neck, but that got 
broken in the riot when our singer quit on stage. He'd been doing a cleanse. He was very moody. You know, there are consequences when you incite a people to bloodlust. But it gave me a chance to uh, have this neck custom made. The neck carve is based on an old Viking axe that was discovered. We laser scanned the example in the museum. I mean, the good thing was that led to us writing Neck Broke Mountain, which was huge for us. So, take these things as they come. Yeah, well, in the studio, I really mostly just play a classical, and I run that through a circuit I pulled out of an old espresso machine. Yeah, I find myself preferring pour-overs these days rather than the fancy technology. Yeah, there's Coke and Uppers and MDMA. Weed, of course, along with opium and warm wood you need for the rituals, but, you know, the one thing that I think all death metal folks have in common is a love for coffee. Hot, rich, and obviously black. Yeah. Well, in terms of pedals, you know, K is for compressor. Try to keep things simple. And then uh, this distortion it has a drop of Ozzy's blood in a vial inside. It vibrates at 666 hertz when you hit it with electricity. I mostly use it for drop C and drop B stuff. It's just a really articulate distortion on those lower frequencies. Which is strange because you can't understand a word Ozzy is saying. Yeah, it's a it's a six string. If you can't do it with six, you can't do it with eight. I can tell you that. Lower frequencies, they're a mindset, not a physical object. Think about that. For guitar picks, you know, a lot of guys just use the standard sort of shape, you know, but I prefer something a little bit different that helps give me my unique sound. I use these files. can really get a grip and dig in. You know, a lot of the instruments kind of the predecessors of the guitar, more medieval or ancient. They actually had picks that were longer, like this. Usually of some sort of natural material that you held in the whole hand. But I wanted something that was a little more metal.
yeah for the amps you know obviously we put up the the big wall and stage but it's just for show I uh really everything for me comes from the Roland Jazz Chorus I do love those old tube amps, you know. Those big tube heads do give a great sound, but I threw my back out doing a polar plunge, and ever since then I just have problems whenever I try to lug those heavy amps around. Yeah, I mean, we, we have roadies, but uh, we tend to go through them pretty fast. You know, blood sacrifice takes its toll. The elder gods are hard to appease. You said that, not me. I mean, at this point, I consider myself mostly a vegan just sear up a uh, cauliflower steak slather it in some tarragon infused coconut butter mm, it's better than unicorn's blood yeah I'd say I'm probably a practicing vegan borderline freegan kind of depends on the ritual Hmm. You're, uh, sure you don't want any coffee? I am going to brew up some here. the roadies broke the nice comb that I had so I'm having to improvise a bit today using this roast from Necronoma Coffee. It's a local company that I try to support. I appreciate their ethics and the quality of their product.
This is their darkest roast. It is their Fanta Black roast, which is scientifically created. It is the darkest possible roast for coffee. I highly recommend their product. ready to go. Finely ground. Take in that aroma. It really is quite extraordinary, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's very insightful. A lot of people say our catalog has a Lovecraftian arc to it. Satan's blood that tastes like heaven. Yeah, I mean, so here's the thing. I grew up in Sweden and it's just so, so cold there. If you haven't killed enough elk and felled enough timber, you'll freeze to death by early December. And that's in a major city like Stockholm. So the way I figure it, if I burn in the fires of hell for all eternity, at least I'll never be cold again. Yeah, I do, I do expect special treatment. You know, it's hell, but I think they'll spare me the whip of thorns and that thing where they clamp your eyelids open and force you to watch your uncle try to use TikTok. So yeah, as these things go, I think it'll be alright. You know, it's, everything's a trade-off. But really, this has been a, a higher calling. Yeah, yeah, we are a dying breed. Soon enough, I feel like we'll end up hiring some sort of anime singer just to stay relevant. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, time flies. No, it was a, a pleasure talking with you today. Hey, and if you're interested in the Satanism thing, you should uh, just stop by my manager on your way out. He has a bunch of the flyers. You should take one. All right. Go with Satan. <laughs>